good morning students welcome all of you to online english class in the previous class we were discussing a play that is the sunny morning and in the beginning of the play we have seen don lora and petra they enter the park and don lora is happy to be there and before reaching the park she was feared that her seat would be occupied and petra seems very impatient and she went to chat with the guard after passing the bag of bread crumbs to don lora so don lora by in, by feeding the pigeons with bread crumbs she is enjoying herself meanwhile don gonzalo and his servant junito both of them they enters the park and don gonzalo wanted a bench to himself but all the benches were occupied by someone or the other but don gonzalo wanted a bench to himself while they were searching for an empty bench don gonzalo scared away the birds who were feeding on the bread crumbs because of this reason both don gonzalo and don lora they started a tit for tat conversation with each other in this conversation don lora started outwitting don gonzalo she even made comments on don gonzalo after that don gonzalo wanted to read a book of poems after giving the book of poems to don gonzalo gionito went to roam around in the park now before reading the poems don gonzalo wanted to take snuff while taking the snuff he offers the snuff to don lora as well after taking the snuff both of them anxiously seized, sneezed three times alternatively and now according to don lora the pinch of snuff has made peace between them now don gonzalo started reading aloud he read the first poem written by cham pamor and later he reads a humorous poem in a funny style later he was about to read the third poem 20 years past he returns by the time don lora said it is affecting her so much by looking at don gonzalo wearing all those spectacles and holding reading glass it affects her so much and now don gonzalo asked her whether she can read without any glasses she said yes she can read after taking the book she read the poem and now don gonzalo envied her wonderful eyesight but don lora said in a theatrical side that is aside it means she she just spoke to herself that she know the poem every word by heart so that's why she was able to read that poem because she know the poem already she knows the poem by heart and now don gonzalo said he was very fond of good verses and he has composed in some in his youth and he said that he is a great friend of espronceda zorilla becker and campamore all these are 19th century spanish writers and don gonzalo was a good friend of them and he said that he went to america several times he met zorilla in america for the first time and don gonzalo when he visited america for the first time he was just 6 years old for that don lora commented that he must have gone with columbus in one of his caravels at this comment don gonzalo laughs for the first time he takes the comment in a positive way and he admits that he is old but he is not that much old as given by or as commented by don lora now both of them they start laughing at this comment now don gonzalo even he says he is a native city he is a native of the city of valencia after that what happens let's see don lora you are don gonzalo i was brought up there and there i spent my early youth have you ever visited that city don lora yes senor not far from valencia there was a villa that if still there should retain memories of me i spent several seasons there it was many years ago it was near the sea hidden away among lemon and orange trees they called it let me see what did they call it maricela tom gonzalo startled maricela 
Donegal. Marisela, is the name familiar to you? Donegal. Oh, yes, very familiar. If my memory serves me right, for we forgot as we grow old. There lived in that villa the most beautiful women I have ever seen. And I assure you, I have seen many. Let me see what was her name. Laura, 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 Laurenti. Don Laura. Startled. Laura Laurenti. Don Gonzalo. Yes, they look at each other intently. When Don Laura asked Don Gonzalo whether he belongs to the city of Valencia, he said yes, he belongs to that city. He was brought up there and he spent his youth in that city of Valencia. And he even asked Don Laura whether she visited that city. Further, Don Laura says, yes, she visited that city. Not far from Valencia, there was a villa. And in that villa, there are so many memories of her. And she spent several seasons there many years ago. And the location of that villa is, it is near the sea, hidden away among lemon and orange trees. And the name of that villa is Maricela. After listening to the name Maricela, Don Gonzalo was completely startled. He was shocked. He was shocked, was surprised. And he repeated the name Maricela. Don Laura asked whether he knows or whether he is familiar with the name Maricela. For that, Don Gonzalo says, yes, he is very familiar because when people grow old, they forget so many things. He is remembering that in that villa, there was a beautiful woman that he had ever seen in his life. And he is saying that he had seen so many women, so many beautiful ladies, but she was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. And now he is remembering the name of that beautiful lady. Slowly he remembered that is Laura Lorente. After listening to the name of the beautiful lady, here Don Laura, she was completely surprised and shocked. She repeated the name Laura Lorente. And now Don Gonzalo and Don Laura, both of them, they looked at each other intently, very closely. Both of them, they looked at each other. Because here we have the first clue, first hint that, that both of them, they have some past. Both of them, they know each other in the past. After recovering, Don Laura said, nothing, you reminded me of my best friend. Don Gonzalo, how strange. Don Laura, it is strange she was called the silver medal. Now, Don Laura is saying that Don Gonzalo, he just remind Don Laura's good friend and she was called as silver medal. Don Gonzalo, precisely the silver medal, by that name she was known in that locality. I seem to see her as if she were before me now at that window with the red roses. Do you remember that window? Now even Don Gonzalo is saying, yes, yes, the beautiful lady was called as silver medal in that locality and she was very popular by that name. And she used to spend her time near the window with roses. So next to the garden of roses, there was a building that is the villa. In that villa, she used to spend her time by standing near the window in her room. Don Laura, yes, I remember it was the window of her room. Don Gonzalo, she spent many hours there. I mean, in my day. So Don Gonzalo is saying she used to spend her much of her time near that window. Don Laura, sighing and in mind too. Slowly she is saying, not only in your time, even that is my time. It means here Don Laura and Don Gonzalo, both of them, they share a bleak past, a past where they were separated and now both of them, they identified Don Gonzalo. Now Don Gonzalo is describing the beauty of that lady, beauty of silver maiden. She was ideal, fair as a lily, jet black hair and black eyes with an uncommonly sweet expression. See. She seemed to cast radiance wherever she was. Her figure was beautiful, perfect. What forms of sovereign beauty God models in human clay? She was a dream. Now, according to Don Gonzalo, she was ideal. She was perfect. She was just like a model. She was Her color, complexion was white as lily, beauty as lily, and jet black hair. 
her hair were black and black eyes with an uncommonly sweet expression she was not ordinary she was extraordinary she had smile a beautiful smile and she seemed to cast radiance wherever she was she was highlighted everywhere because of her beauty her figure was beautiful and perfect she was beautiful and perfect what forms of sovereign beauty her beauty was the ultimate beauty as if god models in human clay as if god has taken special interest to create her in that way that much beautiful she was she was a dream she was uh, she was just like an angel from heaven very beautiful don lora aside now don lora she is speaking to herself if you but knew that dream was now by your side you would realize what dreams come to so now don lora she is speaking to herself if don gonzalo knows that dream is now by his side it means the dream is none other than don lora and she is saying that if you know that the dream is sitting next to you now you will now you would realize what dreams come to so she is speaking to herself that dream is none other than herself and if don gonzalo knows she is the silver maiden then he will realize us what happened to his dream aloud she is speaking loudly she was very unfortunate and had a sad love affair so now don lora said yes yes that silver maiden was very unfortunate unlucky she had a sad love affair she was in a love affair which ended tragically don gonzalo very sad they look at each other now even don gonzalo said yes yes it's very sad love affair once again they look at each other don lora did you hear of it don gonzalo yes don lora the ways of providence are strange aside gonzalo now don lora is saying the ways of providence providence fate so whatever happens in our fate in our life it's very strange it is unpredictable we cannot even predict sometimes we cannot believe it is unpredictable and unbelievable she is speaking to herself but now she is saying gonzalo so that is she is saying that the ways of providence are very strange don gonzalo the gallant lover in the same affair don lora ah the duel now don gonzalo is saying that in that sad love affair there was silver maiden and a gallant lover gallant horseman and don lora is remembering the duel so duel is a fight between two persons for for another person for a prestige or for a position don gonzalo preciously the duel the gallant lover was my cousin of whom i was very fond now here don gonzalo is saying that that gallant lover that gallant horseman who was in love with the silver maiden he was don gonzalo's cousin and now don lora said that that silver maiden was her friend so here don lora she is presenting herself as silver maiden and silver maiden's friend and don gonzalo is presenting himself as the gallant horseman's cousin don lora oh yes a cousin my friend told me in one of her letters the story of that affair which was truly romantic he your cousin passed by on horseback every morning down the rose path under her window and tossed up to her balcony a bouquet of flowers which she caught don gonzalo and later in the afternoon the gallant horseman would return by the same path and catch the bouquet of flowers she would toss him am i right now don lora is saying how they used to have a relationship how that love affair started and it continued so don lora is saying that she knows about don gonzalo's cousin through letters written by her friend and in that letters she mentioned that don gonzalo's cousin used to pass on horseback every morning down the rose path under her window so next to her window there was a rose garden and in that rose garden he used to pass every morning while passing on horseback he used to toss a bouquet of flowers she used to catch the bouquet and later in the afternoon the gallant horseman used to return by the same path she used to return a bouquet of flowers and which he used to catch that flowers so now he is asking don gonzalo is asking am i right whether he is right regarding that story 
Don Lora, yes, they wanted to marry her to a merchant whom she would not have. Now Don Lora is saying that Silver Maiden's parents wanted her to marry a rich merchant, but she did not like him. Don Gonslow, and one night when my cousin waited under her window to hear her sing, this other person presented himself unexpectedly. When Don Gonslow's cousin was waiting to hear the voice of the Silver Maiden, there was another person unexpectedly present there, so that is the rich merchant. Don Laura and insulted your cousin Don Gonslow. There was a quarrel, Don Laura, and later a duel, Don Gonslow. Yes, at sunrise on the beach, and the merchant was badly wounded. My cousin had to conceal himself for a few days and later to fly. So now Don Laura is saying that when the merchant saw Don Gonzalo's cousin near Silver Madden's window, both of them started quarreling with each other. Merchant insulted Don Gonzalo's cousin. The quarrel later it became a duel, a fight for that Silver Madden. And Don Gonzalo, he is saying that next at sunrise on the beach, the merchant was badly wounded. He was very powerful and very popular in that locality. Because of this reason, Don Gonzalo's cousin, he had to hide himself for a few days and after that he just fly from that place. He just moved, he just ran from that place. Don Laura, you seem to know the story well, Don Gonzalo, and so do you. When Don Gonzalo is giving every detail of the story, Don Laura is asking, saying that Don Gonzalo knows the story well, and Don Gonzalo is saying, so just like you, just like you know the story well, even I know the story well. Don Laura told, I have explained that a friend repeated it to me. And now Don Laura is saying that her friend Silver Madden has repeated this story to her. Don Gonzalo, as my cousin did to me. So Don Gonzalo is saying, yeah, yeah, just like my cousin told me the story, narrate me the story, even your friend just has repeated the story to you. I said, this is Laura. Now he confirmly said, he recognized, he identified, this is Laura Lorente. Don Laura, aside, why tell him he does he does not sus suspect Don Gonzalo, aside, she is entirely innocent. Now, here we can see that both Don Laura and Don Gonzalo, they identified each other. They did not reveal their true identity. They are continuing to hide their identity because they think they did not recognize each other. Don Laura thinks that Don Gonzalo did not recognize her identity and Don Gonzalo thinks that Don Laura did not recognize his real identity. So both of them, they are thinking that they are completely innocent. So Don Gonzalo, she is entirely innocent. Laura, and was it you by any chance who advised your cousin to forget Laura? Now Don Laura is asking Don Gonzalo, was it he who advised his cousin Means, was it Don Gonzalo who advised his Don Gonzalo's cousin to forget Laura? Don Laura asked Don Gonzalo whether Don Gonzalo advised his cousin to forget Laura. For this, let us see. So, what is the reason and what, how he is going to give explanation for the behavior of Don Gonzalo's cousin? In today's session, we have seen how. Don Laura and Don Gonzalo, they realized and identified that they were past lovers. They were lovers so many years ago. At present, though they realize and identify each other's identity, they did not reveal it. Instead, they hide their identity and once again, they just went back to nostalgic memor memories. So they remembered their romantic love affair. So that's how they separated because of few reasons and now Don Laura is claiming that it is Don Gonzalo's cousin who forgot Laura. So we will see in the next class how Don Gonzalo gives explanation and how he defends his cousin. I am going to dictate you one more question from today's session. So all of you write down. First question. So who spent his early youth 
who spent his early youth in valencia who spent his early youth in valencia next question what is the name of the villa what is the name of the villa as mentioned by what is the name of the villa as mentioned by don laura what is the name of the villa as mentioned by don laura next question where the villa was located where the villa was located where the villa was located next question who is the most beautiful women who is the most beautiful women which don gonzalo is referring to who is the most beautiful women which don gonzalo is referring to how don laura and don gonzalo presented themselves how don laura and don gonzalo presented themselves how don laura and don gonzalo presented themselves who involved in a sad love affair who involved in a sad love affair who involved in a sad love affair where the silver maiden used to where the silver maiden used to spend many hours where the silver maiden used to spend many hours where the silver maiden used to spend many hours describe silver maiden's beauty and appearance describe silver maiden's beauty and appearance in the words of don gonzalo describe silver maiden's beauty and appearance in the words of don gonzalo next question how silver maiden and the gallant lover how the silver maiden and gallant lover used to meet each other every day used to meet each other every day next question whom did whom did silver maiden's parents whom did silver maiden's parents want her want her to marry next question when don gonzalo's cousin when don gonzalo's cousin when don gonzalo's cousin went when don gonzalo's cousin went to hear to hear silver maiden singing when don gonzalo's cousin went to hear silver maiden's singing who presented there unexpectedly who presented there unexpectedly who presented there unexpectedly what happened after the duel between what happened after the duel between the merchant and the gallant lover what happened after the duel between the merchant and the gallant lover how how don gonzalo and Do don laura no the love story how don gonzalo and don laura know the love story when when don gonzalo and don laura identified each other when don gonzalo and don laura identified each other
Okay, that's all from the today's session. I hope all of you are following the play. In the next class, we are going to continue with the play. Until then, all of you take care. Bye.